Heather from Plans Me Paper and today I'm here to film a plan with me video for the week of January 29th through February 4th of 2018. And while I'm doing this plan with me, I also wanted to show you guys my weekly planner review process. So these are basically all of the things that I do in order to plan out the following week and to make sure that my goals and my priorities and the things that I wanna do uh, don't kind of fall by the wayside. So uh, that is what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to walk you through my weekly planner review and then go ahead and use it to plan out my week. Uh, I'll probably speed up the planning part so that it's not a super long video. Uh, so first off, I am in a personal size Filofax. This is a Filofax Malden in the color ochre. And I love this planner. It's working out great for me so far. I got it about a month ago and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I keep my planner review in the personal section of my Filofax and I keep it right in the front. That way it's super easy for me to turn to um, throughout the week to do my daily review and then also um, towards the end of the week when I'm planning out the following week. So uh, to get started, the first thing that I do when I'm planning out my week is I check my to-dos. So I go back to the previous week and I look through and find things that I didn't complete. Now, uh, normally I would do this on a Saturday or a Sunday. It's a little earlier this time, so you can see there's quite a few things that haven't been completed yet. Um, but anything that I haven't completed by the end of the week, I will draw an arrow just like this, and that means that I'm migrating it to the next week. So I make sure that everything that didn't get completed gets moved along or gets canceled, um, and that way I don't let any tasks fall through the cracks. Next, I will check my monthly layout. So I'll go to my monthly page. You can see here's my monthly page. And I'll write down any uh, events or activities or tasks that I've got listed out for the month on my weekly page so I don't forget about them. I will check my last week's meals. So um, if there's any meals that I planned on making that week that I didn't actually make, I will go ahead and add those to the next week's meal plan so that I don't end up wasting those ingredients. I wanna make sure if I have any ingredients on hand or even in my pantry, um, I like to use what I have first before I buy new things. I will check my monthly goals and my Etsy tasks. And both of those for me are located also on this month monthly layout. Uh, I keep them here on the front page. So I have my goals up here on the top in my hexagons and I just kind of look through those and I just try to keep those in mind as I plan each week. Um, since those are my priorities, that's what I wanna focus on this month. I try to make sure that I'm planning myself for success in those different goals. Um, and then I put my Etsy goals down here at the bottom. So I just look through and kind of think about which ones I need to do this week and add them to my weekly list. Uh, for zone cleaning, I also have a fly lady section in my planner. So I'll go to my zone cleaning tasks, whichever zone I'm in that week. And then I'll go ahead and add those to the weekly layout as well. I clear my brain dump section. So I keep some paper right in the very front of my planner, like first thing when I open it right after the dashboard, where I just sometimes will jot things down. So for instance, I need to get my tax forms set up for my YouTube channel. That was just something that kind of crossed my mind randomly this week. So I'll add that to my to-do to list for next week. And then cranberry apple tea, I just need to buy more of that. Um, so I'll move it to my grocery list. So I'll just clear out my brain dump section. Uh, I record and total my spending. So I have some spending trackers in here. I'll just show you a blank one. And each week I write down, um, right now all I'm tracking on these is my grocery budget because that's something that uh, I definitely have control over and I tend to spend too much on. So I'm just writing down what I spend on groceries um, at any stores that I went to throughout the week and then I total it up and subtract it from my budget so that I know where I'm at. Uh, check paid bills, same things. I go to my bill tracker and then if I did pay anything that week, I just check it off and make sure I write down the amount. 
update my appointment notes and my health notes. Um, that's in my health section. So if I did go to any appointments that week, I would just jot down what was talked about uh, in case I forgot to or was too busy to do it on the actual day it happened. And same thing with health notes. If anything came up health-wise, I just jot it down. Um, sometimes when those things happen in the middle of the week, I'm too busy and I totally forget about it. Um, but I really like to have it rec recorded um, just for future reference. So that's why I try to make a point of doing it at least once a week so I don't forget and just kind of let things fade away. <laughs> um, work reflections, same thing. If there's anything that was important that came up at work that week that I think will help me um, to improve myself in the future, I will jot it down in my work section. Um, and that's for my, my day job at, um, at a school that I work at. And then coupons, I'll look through my coupons, see if I've got anything I need to use this week or if I've got some that expired that I didn't end up using, I'll toss them. And to buy list, um, I just add anything I need to purchase to my list. So uh, that's my whole weekly planner review process. Those are all the things that I do. Um, when I do plan with me, this is what I'm going off of. And you guys may or may not see that um, when I'm doing it because I'm just writing things down. But you'll usually probably see me, you know, I'm adding a few to do's and I usually end up having to pause and take some time when I'm writing those out a little bit because I am looking back at my monthly layout and my weekly layout. I am checking my Etsy tasks and my zone cleaning tasks. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing when you see me actually writing on my weekly planner page. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pages out of my planner for this week and go ahead and start planning. Uh, just to tell you real quick, the supplies that I'm using, uh, I'm keeping it super functional this week and, and lately I have been, I've been pretty much just using a highlighter and a pen and I'm sticking with that this week. It's been working for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. I'm using a friction highlighter in kind of a turquoise teal type color. This is my favorite one, I think, Pilot Friction Highlighter. And then I'm using a Pilot Friction pen in 0.5 tip. Um, this one's a little bit different from the one I usually use, but my regular pen after like two and a half years of use actually broke. <laughs> so I'm using this one until I can replace it. Um, I have also two different sets of inserts that I use to plan my week. I have a week on two page horizontal that has kind of two tracking boxes for each day. And I put my exercise plan in the top and my meal plan in the bottom. And then I have a week on three page, plus a notes page on the back here, uh, that is vertical. And this is what I use kind of as my daily page. So you'll see, I'll set this up at the beginning of the week um, where I just kind of put my headers on, but I don't actually fill it out until the day of or the night before each individual day. So you won't really see me doing too much on this one other than setting it up and maybe adding a few things to my weekly list. I usually keep my weekly to-do list on the notes page here on the back of that first page. Um, also this second set of inserts I keep slotted. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so that means that it can just be popped in to the planner very easily and pulled out very easily. Um, just for ease of access. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
so there is my completed plan for the week. Um, you can see that I did copy some tasks over from last week. A lot of things came from my monthly layout. And then I kind of, you know, cleared out my brain dump and just thought about a few things um, that would be kind of good goals for the week to come. Um, with a new month starting, I always need to spend, spend some time at some point during the week kind of making my goals, making my plan for videos for the month, that kind of thing. And then um, I'm going to be in zone five next week uh, for my fly lady plan which for me is all the extras. So it's things like cleaning the car, cleaning the garage, etc. So um, for now, I just put the two biggest tasks, which like I said, are cleaning the car and cleaning the garage down. And then I'm sure I'll sprinkle in a few other extra tasks throughout the week as well. And uh, that is my weekly plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the box down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, also, if you're interested in any of my inserts, please check out my Etsy store. I will put the link down below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.